following interface. Due to the small current, often this slag is inseparable from molten iron. Cause this welding defect. We are at work. If this happens, when connecting, the beginning here must grind this place off. After grinding, reconnect it. And I'm going to show you how. Pay attention to safety when grinding. Just don't push too hard. It is easy to cause the cutting blade to be broken in turn. So when grinding, hold your hand again. This is a broken surface we ground from this place when we start. Then it comes diagonally down, slant to this position. After forming our holding pull, slowly swing it again and again. After the diagonal pendulum, this. The left point and the right point are at the same time and the edge should be as horizontal as possible. If there is a little slope mouth, the faster we go up. After that, it will be a little slower when you come down. Because he has a gravitational effect, the thrust of our arc can also be appropriately increased a little bit. Don't stick it to 45 until 40. It's just going up, it's coming down, a little slower. And so the molten iron stops him from sweating. Let's watch the draw next. Adjust the current to 105. Turn up the thrust a little bit. Perception coefficient. The current of the drinking pot must be greater than the welding current. Is it 122 now? It's got to be bigger. It's 10 to 15% bigger, basically. This amount of demolition is enough. DC reverse connection is used. Washing pot. Go to the place where we were going to start the fire just now. Don't worry. Go up faster. Get off work slowly. Do a lot on both sides. The right hand is easy to wipe. So let's look at molding. It's the connector below. Pull it down from above. Pull to our broken surface. Lead on both sides. And then it moves on both sides, oblique as horizontal as possible. However, if these two sides are not very good at level, that is, if you go up a little faster, you will come down a little slower. Just rub out a little molten iron. 